Oh my God. I cannot explain the pain. Hi guys. <clears throat> what was that? Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite Latvian, Karina. Nice to see you again. Why am I speaking so quietly? As promised, I'm back this week again, um, as we like. And today I'm here to talk about the contraception. The contraception? Yeah, the contraception. Well, I'm here to talk about contraception. You get the gist of it. So, first of all, I want to say that contraception doesn't protect you from the STDs. So, if you're unsure or if you're changing your partners quite frequently, it's probably best to stick with a condom. Um, although, I know it does feel that good. This and this and that. It's not comfortable. You guys might say all sort of excuses, but no. The blue, protect yourself. Either it's condom or it's nothing, you know? I don't really have that problem because I do have a boyfriend. Therefore, I had other things to think about and the contraceptions that I've gone through. I don't, I don't even want to think about it, but I feel like it's quite a good share to have if you're uh, looking for a contraception, if you're not satisfied with your contraception, if you're going on your first contraception, or yeah, in general, just about the contraceptions, um, I am going to be talking about the coil implant and the contraceptional patches. I'm gonna talk about how I came to the conclusion that I want to use this specific contraception at that specific time, why I decided to get rid of it, and then I'm gonna talk about my current contraception method, which is the patch and also why I'm not using pills and things like that, which is actually, there's nothing much to say in regards to pills. I would literally just forget to take them every single day, that specific time. I'm very organized, but for some reason, I just would not be able to do it. Let's start with possibly the first thing, uh, which I went for, that was coil. One of the reasons why I actually went for it is because since a child could, my mom always told me, that she is on a coil, but uh, she always told me that she chose coil because she didn't want to add extra hormones to her body and that was her, her choice. So there are two different types of coils, can't really name both of them, I just know the copper coil. So she was having that. When I was looking into contraceptions and everything, I was thinking, okay, that actually could be a good option because my mom doesn't want to put hormones in her body, so why do I want to put hormones in my body? So I decided that I wanted to have coil. I remember some time ago I was speaking to my mom about it and she was telling me that it's actually not suggested for a woman who haven't given who have who, who doesn't have kids to use this contraception method. But in the UK I went to the GP, I discussed everything and they said it's fine. Which later on when I actually went to gynecologist in Mamia. Yeah because they do suggest that you go to gynecologist once a year. They basically were able to measure my cervix and that smallest coil was too big for my cervix, which is the case for most of the women who doesn't have kids, just because, we, well, we, we didn't push the baby through it, if that makes sense. So it's just not big enough for us to actually have a coil. And most of the time, if you would like to actually go for a coil, it would be great if we would have an opportunity to actually go to the gynecologist, let them measure our cervix to, to be happy. Because the story that is going to follow regards to coil, oh my God. Okay, so I decided I wanted to coil. First of all, I had a swab to check if I have any sort of bacteria there, which all was fine, like I didn't have anything there. So then I scheduled when I'm gonna go for this whole coil insertion process. So then I went there <clears throat> and it was basically, they basically said it was going to be like strong period cramps. And I've had strong period cramps. It was actually for like a couple of times, but I, I knew I knew the pain. I knew the pain when sometimes it hurts so much that you literally need to stand up or sit down and you don't know where to, what to do with yourself. So I was there um, with doctors and, oh my God, I cannot explain the pain the pain was worse. This is just me personally, because I know there are other women and everything is fine for them. And also women who doesn't have kids and everything is fine for them, but oh my God, that was the most painful, possibly the most painful thing that I've 
ever experienced physically. I think even getting nipple spears wasn't as bad as that. So those girls who have their nipple spears, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it was worse for me. Uh, but obviously then again, I don't want to scare you, although I probably did. This is just my personal experience. So then she inserted it. It was really, really painful. So then she told me, you can just lie here till you feel like you can actually start moving, start doing things. And, and I was literally lying there. She left the room and I was thinking I would be able to lie here for the next few days because I was in so much pain. I just put my pants on, I like, got dressed and then I started to walk and I understood that I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I went to the toilet and the surgery and literally I was I was sitting on the toilet and I didn't know which way something's gonna come out. I know it sounds so disgusting, but it was that bad. And the worst thing was that my phone was on like 3% or something. I didn't have my bank card with me. Brandon was in London. So afterwards, after this whole experience, I had to walk home, right? For half an hour. I was in so much pain that I literally was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go and take a nap and it's gonna be fine after I took a nap. And guess what? It wasn't. Next part, so that's the whole insertion process and everything. A few months later, I decided that I'm going to take it off. And it was actually a suggestion from Brandon. He was saying, I just can't see you in so much pain every single time when you're in your period, because literally I, I was sometimes on my shift and I just had to stop for a second because I have so much pain down there that I just, I just decided, okay, this is not for me and I'm just gonna take it out. So then he was coming at me saying like, there are some girls at my work and this and this and that, and they're all have implants so maybe you want to go for that and at first I was very reluctant to go for anything hormonal because of what what I've heard from my mom but I was thinking okay we need some sort of contraception here so I decided to go for an implant the insertion process was really easy literally there was like this weird mach machine type of thing and I just put it to my arm and inserted it sort of here it wasn't too long it literally didn't hurt at all and the same with taking it out it wasn't it wasn't bad at all it was literally like a little pinch and and it was out but I only had it in also for six months so I can't really speak on how it is when you have it in for the full time Time. like I don't know I don't know how it is if you hold it for too long it might be it might be stuck in there I don't know I, I don't want to spread my scary thoughts to you guys but so I had it in everything was sort of fine at the very beginning but I think after a month or two I started to notice that my face is literally breaking out my face has never been as bad it as it was then because I literally couldn't even cover it with a foundation or, or, or anything else. And at that point I was also working in a beauty counter. So, and not only that, I was working in a beauty counter, but I was working on Clinique, which is obviously skincare brand. Well, their main focus is on skincare because, well, it is. It was so hard for me to speak to people and <laughs> show them these products saying, oh yeah, this is gonna help for this. This is gonna help for that. This is going to fix your skin. Whilst I am looking like I was looking, I will try to insert like a photograph. It might not look bad because most of my photographs, uh, photographs? Photographs I do have makeup on, so, but you, you won't be able to see like to its full extent, but you will still be able to see that obviously there is some I would even say acne going on underneath it and it was not only the skin change it was me I felt like I just felt like I couldn't manage it, it yeah it really really played with my hormones and now at one point I was feeling really really low and I couldn't understand if it's the pressure from university from work and from all the things that I had to do or if it's actually the implant because I never felt that low so I just decided okay this is enough I'm taking it out so I took it out but then obviously I had to discuss other contraception methods so then I went to the GP it was there was a this lovely woman i think she was also the one who actually took out the implant and um, i was having a conversation with her about the possible op other options so then she was i can't really remember i think she was talking something about a ring or whatever but basically she was mentioning these patches and i decided okay this is what i'm gonna go with they're fine like they're okay they're working for me in a way not fully all right so this is my current contraception i don't even know how to show you because this is my week off so you know that i am my period yes they come like this this is 
they come like they they prescribe three months worth of contraception so you have three of these and this and basically there are three patches in it you change it once a week and you have so you put it on i don't even know how to explain this so you there are three patches in there and obviously then you have a week off in your period so what you do you put the patch on you keep it on for seven days then you change it keep it on for seven days then you change it keep it on for seven days and change it i just feel like i'm just gonna go on like this but then you have your week off it also has like these lovely little stickers to remind you so you can put them in your planner how thoughtful they have three months worth of these things in there this is my last one for the last month for next month uh and because i moved to london i need to register with the gp because i need to get these babies the only problem that i would say i have with the patch when i went to latvia i came off of the patch because i didn't really have need to have it and after putting it on after a long time i felt really nauseous i felt like i'm gonna throw up like i couldn't eat i couldn't do anything but now i'm sort of used to it again and uh, another thing i might have allergic reaction to those but i just don't want to change my contraception because this is fine now this is working maybe i just need to go to the doctor and discuss like maybe there's something i can do with this but i'm just gonna probably pop it also here as well i have like these patch size squarey things on my legs where there's sort of like dry skin and they're itchy and sometimes the patches also are itchy but um other than that it's all good so it has been crazy journey with contraception and i bet there are loads of girls out there like me have gone through so many things i just wanted to share my experiences because i think it's quite interesting and also when i was looking for different contraceptions i was actually spending quite a lot of time on youtube and you just sometimes want to hear other people experiences so i've been through three of the contraception methods it's not great like i'm fine with the patch now i found my contraception but it's still not 100 percent, if that makes sense and i'm not sure if there is that 100 percent one for every single woman but i guess you just need to look for the best one and um yeah i guess that's all for me and then again i just want to remind you if you change your sexual partners quite frequently right it doesn't protect you from the stds therefore do use a condom please i'm not here to be a mother but you know what to do okay guys i hope this video was helpful i love you lots as usual i see you guys next time next week thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please click the subscribe button if you're new like this video if you enjoyed it and thought that this was really good content also click the bell icon to know when my videos go live yeah i see you guys soon bye